When it comes to Hollywood, some actors are lucky enough to get to hang out on lavish historical set pieces on shows like Outlander, while others get to perfect their craft in gorgeous contemporary living spaces like in Scandal. And then there's where actress Laura Preppen got to spend the majority of her working day. For the longest time, it was on a set that recreated the shag carpeted basement area on that 70s show. And from there, she moved on to spending 16 hours a day on a set and made to resemble a woman's penitentiary for Orange is the New Black. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. So is it any wonder that when she finally earned enough money to buy her own place that Laura made sure it was something she could truly enjoy? Even when she's renting a place temporarily to live in, Laura chooses to stay in a series of gorgeous apartments in whichever city that she happens to be shooting. She explained to architect Digest. I always lease furnished spaces, but I'm very picky about them. I like European flair. When I'm not shooting, I'm writing or working on a script, so I need my apartment to creatively stimulate me. I can't live in a cookie cutter apartment with four white walls. It would literally drive me insane. Not being able to deal with living in your basic everyday apartment means that her home base had to be similarly dolled up. So Laura bought herself an incredible residence to return to in LA whenever she was in town. Purchased back in 2001, she formerly took the time to showcase this house on MTV's Cribs alongside, of all people, Jason Segal. With five bedrooms, four baths, three acres of land, and yes, even three horses, you could say that Laura's original ranch style house had a little bit of everything. Outside of these horses, the layout of Laura's early 2000s home is probably not all that different from yours. Walking through the front door, you'll immediately be greeted on the right hand side by a gorgeous dining room setup that's the definition of country chic. Through a side door exiting that room, you'll discover Laura's favorite spot of all, the kitchen. This uniquely designed culinary space boasts an impressive built-in appliances, a butcher block center island, white cabinets, and a stone oven. But it's the little details in the form of murals Laura inserted all around the room that bring the space to life. It's a stylish idea that she carried over to her kitchen table as well to ensure that no single chair was designed the exact same. Down the hall and to the right of the kitchen, you would find Laura's chill room, where she once went to hang out and watch TV. This space boasted custom-made sofas, a glass coffee table reconstructed out of an old Indian window, a large TV, and a roaring fireplace. But as nice as that room looks, it doesn't hold a candle to Laura's stylish living room, anchored by a gorgeous fireplace and accented with leather seats, another Indian glass table, and a grand piano. Heading upstairs, one of the first rooms you'll enter is Laura's guest room. The one spot in the house, she says she got to unleash her inner girly girl by making this room as precious as possible, with a quilt-covered bed, green walls, and flowers etched onto every surface. When it comes to her own master bedroom, this space is a whole lot more contemporary. Boasting its very own sitting area and a custom made king size bed frame, this space could be perfect. You know, if Laura ever got around to buying herself the proper size mattress that is. Okay, so Laura's bedroom might have had a kink in it, but I'll back her pool sure didn't. Boasting a stone deck and a built in spa, it's the perfect place to hang out and unwind on those warm Los Angeles nights. As as much as Laura might have dreamt of owning a house just like this for about as long as she can remember, she didn't end up living here for all that long. In 2008, after about five years, she moved on to another part of Los Angeles. In May 2008, Laura paid $2.3 million for a home in the popular LA neighborhood of Los Feliz. Built in 1947, this home would be extensively updated throughout its lifetime, and by the time Laura moved in, it came equipped with three bedrooms, four baths, and right around 2,900 square feet of space in a single-story residence. The home was all but invisible from the street, set behind imposing driveway gates and a wall of foliage. Walking through some carved wood gates set between a pair of stone elephants leads to an open and enclosed courtyard that encapsulates the property's Balinese modern sanctuary vibe that Laura was trying to cultivate. In fact, during a conversation about her home with Architectural Digest, she once described it as comfortable, beautiful, and vacation-like with a backyard that's as big as the house. 
If you need further proof, look no further than the home's great room, which is made up of the property's living and dining spaces, and both a massive carved stone fireplace, stone tiled floors, a gorgeous stretch of windows, as well as classic French doors. And yes, for those of you with eagle eyes, that is the exact same coffee table from Laura's former home in the middle of the room. With that old Moroccan door glass inlay being the first big furniture Laura ever bought, she's brought it with her every time that she's changed residences. One room over from there is the chef's kitchen, a spacious and serene setup with walnut cabinets, a custom tiled center island, and built-in stainless steel appliances everywhere you look. And because Laura is something of a health nut, she tends to cook her own food a whole lot. Apparently, about 90% of the time, she's always eating at home on a stool in her kitchen just off the center island with her right leg kicked up on the counter. Very specific. So, whenever her friends come by to hang out, they always leave that spot open because they know that's where she'll be. Not far from there is a separate den where Laura could retreat to curl up and unwind with a good book. And then there's the primary suite, which is comprised of a large bedroom with crystal chandeliers hanging from the wall and its own private patio, while also including a custom-fitted walk-in closet, as well as a spa-style bathroom with both a jetted tub and a steam shower. Of course, no Los Angeles property is perfect unless it comes with some sort of luxurious outdoor spaces. And in this case, Laura might not have had any horses, but she does have a few covered patios give way to a huge brick terrace with a centralized water feature. And just above a slender patch of tree shaded lawn is the home's swimming pool and spa, which is set into a sunny clearing in the midst of tropical greenery and an open air poolside cabana equipped with the half bathroom as well as a tiled outdoor shower. All in all, it's a pretty stylish place, no? And guess what? A few years ago, you could have actually rented this place out fully furnished. In the mid 2010s, Laura decided to lease her longtime home while she was renting a place in New York and filming season after season of Orange is the New Black. All you needed was about $16,000 a month to afford the place. Ultimately, however, Laura decided to move on from this house after getting married to fellow actor Ben Foster in 2018, and she listed the property in the fall of that year for $3.65 million. It would take a few months, but in March 2019, she found a buyer willing to shell out just under $3.2 million. Since then, reports suggest that Laura and Ben had found a new home in her husband's home state of Massachusetts, though they've actually done a very good job of keeping their new property off of the internet. Probably because these two want to raise their kids in the comfort of as much privacy as possible. I will say this though, if you ever head on over to Laura's YouTube channel, you'll get non-stop access to her home kitchen painted in calming shades of white and forest green, where she's constantly churning out one recipe after another to keep you guys eating as healthy as possible. All right, everyone, that is gonna bring this house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching today's video Video, and before we head off, consider answering the following question. If you had enough space in your family home to include a spot for one farm animal, which kind would it be? Let me know if you're as horse crazy as Laura Preppin is in the comments down below. For me, it's very hard to choose. I mean, I love alpacas and those mini horses too. Maybe I would get both. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another house tour. Bye.